everybody TJ Mac Vintage Cards and today I'm here to do another uh, episode of my hockey case build um, 30 cards from 1952 to 1963 Parkhurst and Tops and they're all full body shot or uh, mostly full body shots the, the best I could do anyway to avoid uh, head shots for this case so you have uh, Gordy Howe starting off with 57 Tops the Rocket Richard 1960 Parkhurst Tim Horton, 54 Parkhurst. Frank Mahavlich, uh, 63 Parkhurst. Dickie Moore, 61 Parkhurst. And then last episode I did Milt Schmidt, 54 Parkhurst. And today um, I'm starting off here. I, I start off uh, the beginning of this case with Gordy Howe, the greatest player of that era, certainly. And here's the greatest defenseman. Um, I think pretty much a consensus from the 1950s, 19, early 60s is Doug Harvey. And uh, before uh, Bobby Orr, Doug Harvey was considered the best defenseman of all time. The Hockey News uh, recently ranked the top 100 defensemen, and Doug Harvey still ranked second all time in the Hockey News um, in between Bobby Orr and Nicholas Lidstrom. He uh, played from 1947 to 1964, and from 1966 to 1969. Uh, he's best known definitely with the Montreal Canadiens, and this is his uh, 1959 Parkers card here. We'll take a quick look at it a little bit more closely. Just a great full body shot. You can see the puck there on the bottom. Um, nice uh, blue and white. Um, looks like a hockey stick, the part in the blue. I'll turn it over here so we can look at the back. You can see uh, Doug Harvey here. A little bit of a write up on him. And these are just, again, just uh, really nice looking cards this is a SGC five and a half real nice solid grade for this so in addition um, to playing for the Canadians uh, he, he where he won seven, seven Stanley Cups he also played for the Rangers uh, the Blues and the Red Wings and uh, he was a 13 time all-star won the Norris Trophy as best defenseman seven times uh, he won it seven of eight years from the 54 55 season until the 61 62 season only Bobby Orr has more with eight now, uh, Hall of Famer Ted Lindsay, who played with Gordie Howe on the Red Wings, said that Doug Harvey controlled some of the greatest players who ever played for those incredible Montreal Canadian teams like he was a maestro. He dictated the style of play on the ice as, and was one of the first defensemen that would go end-to-end -end and use the entire rink. He controlled the style of play. He would lure defenders in and try to get the puck from him, and then at the last second when they were coming at him, he would do a pinpoint pass right to his teammates and set up a goal. Doug Harvey, he could skate, he could pass, uh, he can defend better than any defenseman at that time, and for that matter, most um, offensive uh, forwards of that time. And uh, Hall of Famer uh, Rod uh, Gilbert said uh, that Doug Harvey was the first offensive defenseman that could change the game. He is the forefather to Bobby Orr, Brad Park, Paul Coffey, Dennis Potvin, and the great offensive defenseman that came after him. Now, one of the signs of his greatness is when they have to change the rules because of you. Now, Doug Harvey led arguably the best power play of all time in the 1950s, which included the likes of uh, Bert Olmsted, Maurice Rocket Richard, Jean Beliveau, and Bernie Boom Boom Jeffreyon. And this power play unit was routinely able to score two or even three goals in a single two-minute penalty. And this eventually led to the NHL to change the rule that where you got one goal, the penalty ended, and then the players can return back to even strength. So it was because of Doug Harvey, mainly, that um, that rule was changed, and of course his Montreal Canadian teammates. Now he was inducted in the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1973, even though he was eligible in 1972. It was said that there was a one-year delay because of Har Harvey's um, lifestyle off the, off the rink. Uh, he had quite a drinking problem, supposedly. And he was asked to clean himself up if he wanted to be elected. Harvey apparently took it as a slight and he refused to attend his own induction period um, induction ceremony in 1973. And it was said that he went fishing instead. So there you have it for this episode. Um, Doug Harvey. You know, I just want to add at the end too that he was also a World War II veteran because I think that's important as well. He uh, served for Canada in World War II. So he's a guy that served his country too. And he was uh, um, a pretty clean player. Uh, it was known for uh, giving a lot of clean checks. So there's Doug Harvey, uh, the maestro, is what I titled this episode after uh, Ted, Ted Lindsay's words. 
And let's take a quick scan back at the start of the second row here. And everybody have a great day.